Hello everyone, this is Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're going to be looking at the Daydream feature newly offered in Android 4.2 and 4.1, I believe, Jelly Bean. So it's really, really cool and um, I'd love to show you it in settings. Then you gotta go to display and now that you are in display, you can go to Daydream. So now we're in Daydream, and chances are yours is default, like everyone's, on off. So hit on at the top right. And now we have tons of different displays. Now, first I want to point out, Galactic Core Free and Music Visualizer are actually third-party apps. They're third-party apps that have been designed to work with Daydream. So first up, I'm going to show you Clock. Now, Clock is on the screen now, and um, it looks pretty cool. We have Digital, and then if you go to the Settings bar right here on the right, you have the choice to go to Analog. So that's something different. Now we also have Bean Flinger. Now to get to Bean Flinger, you're actually going to have to activate an Easter egg in Android. You're going to want to go back and find About Phone at the bottom. Now that you have About Phone, go to Android version, tap that a bunch of times. And now you have a Jelly Bean. It says Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. And then you tap the Jelly Bean and hold and you get the bean flinger and you can throw your beans around and it's really really cool and that is an easter egg that will allow you to do this now there is a downside that as you can see now the bean flinger for daydream has a black background instead of a um, wallpaper that you have on your device it's a little annoying i guess you could say but it's certainly nothing that makes bean flinger any less fun so now that we're back we also have colors now colors is Quite plain and simple. It shows you blue, red, yellow, and green, and it moves them around a little bit to change it up every once in a while. Other than that, it's just colors. Next up down, we have Currents. Now, Currents is pretty cool. Um, it shows you all these lists of stories that you have from places you have subscribed to, one of which is LockerGnome.com, as you can see. And there's many, many other that I've went to on Currents, and it shows you stories that are recent for that. So that's really something if you want a functional thing in Daydream other than clock, you know, information, currents is your person for that. Now we have Galactic Core Free. Now, there is a settings on the right. Because I have the free version, they don't let me access the settings. They just give me a link for the full version. But some third-party apps do give you settings that you can change for Daydream. And when we look at this, um, it's a galaxy that rotates, and it's really cool, and I like it. Next up, we have Music Visualizer, and if I go to this and select the settings, you can see I have third-party settings right here. I have Renders, which I can choose the rendering thing, and the Switcher. Now, as you can see um, on the screen, there is those wonderful waves. I was playing music in the background because, obviously, this is a Music Visualizer. Next up, we have Photo Frame. Now, on Photo Frame, you're going to see the settings on the right. Those settings allow you to select different photo folders, to watch your photos in so that's pretty cool and then we also have photo frame which is basically a slideshow um from before it's not touch um activated so you can't really interact with it it's just a slideshow of your pictures we also have photo table this is kind of like photo frame but a bajillion times better once again we have the um settings on the right that let you pick the folders from your photos and then you also now have a photo table. Photos fling onto the table and then you can use your finger and you can play around with them and fling them to the right, fling them to the left, move them to certain areas and do all this super fun stuff because it's photo table. Now there are one or two more settings that you're going to have to activate after you've picked which one of these you like. First of all, you can go to start now at any time to preview these just to make sure you'll like it. Now we're going to have to do when to daydream. You have the option to do this while docked, while charging, or either. Now, if you have an Android dock, you might find it very annoying if you dock your Android device and then suddenly it daydreams and you can't access it. So you might want to do only while charging. And maybe you don't have an Android dock, but you still want to see um, Daydream while you're charging. You can do while charging, or maybe you just love Daydream and you can pick either, like myself. And then lastly, if you have any questions, you can either hit this help button, but that's probably not going to be very helpful to you. So you could always contact us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com or leave a comment down below with any questions you may have. Also, if you need to contact us, you can. we have Facebook pages, we have a Google Plus page. We're everywhere. We're not on Twitter, though. 
so you can certainly contact us there. Please don't forget to like this video. We do try very hard to get you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when we make videos like this one. And if you would like something to refer back to so you don't have to listen to me talk for seven different times, there is an article down in the description below that you can click to refer back to. So I am Alex Bavolsik, and I will see you next time.